you mean ha? Huh. What do you mean ha? Well, we're gonna we're gonna play this. I don't know if this is copyrighted or not. Definitely not. Ah, I hit pause. Well. Okay. I think Brandon's plugged in. Well, yeah, Brandon's plugged in. We're welcome. Good. We good. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Motivation Monday. It's actually on a Monday. <laughs> Thank you, everyone who supported our non Monday releases of this um, of this channel. Oh, we're recording. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, we're recording. yeah, no, we're we good. got, we yeah, got, yeah. we got this. We, got, we know what we're doing. Fifty seconds of fame. What's that? Now it's back to regular business. Uh, we did miss last week. Uh, I will tell you that I had a bit of a, a mental health issue that I needed to, to take care of. Oh, I thought it was my me broken my ankle. I mean that too. Yes, he has a broken ankle. I have a broken brain. You know. Together we make one broken person. Exactly. So I just want to take a minute to say thank you to everyone who supported us in our uh, much needed vacay. I am happy to announce that I am two to three weeks away from being a full-time daddy. And we just had an ultrasound today. My baby is 6.2 pounds inside my wife. And uh, yeah, it looks like everything's going healthy, going good. So that is our first good news story of the day. And we will, uh, what? Oh, <laughs> yes, if anyone didn't uh, catch it on to the, uh, to the post that we made about a baby fit pro person coming into the world soon. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> he's just looking at historic stuff. Oh, yeah, there it is. That's exactly what we're looking at. Yep. That's gonna be me soon, and I cannot be more excited. Wait, how'd you miss that there were gonna be like five interracial babies <laughs> coming into your life? <laughs> they all come from different countries, man. Oh, okay, makes sense. Yeah. Kai, so German Shepherd. Are we gonna do the quote of the day first? Or do you want oh, to we totally gotta do that, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's only written in one place, we don't have a document. It's okay. You can barely see anyway. I'm here to show them that simple, healthy food with all the nutrition that they need can be tasty too. Gordon Ramsay. Yes. That basically brings us into our topic of it's going to be food. Yeah. It's, huh. it's, it's Aren't you sweet? <laughs> so yeah, so basically Gordon Ramsay uh, went over to some marine military thing. American Marines. Was it American Marines? Yeah, they were American. British. Oh, were they British Marines? <laughs> they he, he did both, so... Oh, okay. Well, yeah, so he went over to a group of Marines and basically cooked food for them. That is not their typical rations, which is bland and gross, so I've heard. Uh, so, yeah, so he just cooked rations. food from them, and it's important to know that your food can be delicious nutritious and healthy so true boom all right, all right. good Let's get news the puppy dogs yes look at this dog this is german shepherd so apparently they can play games uh, or this one specifically yes. jenga it's a tic-tac-toe Ooh, tic-tac-toe yeah, yeah that involves strategy it does dog probably wins every time hmm but yeah generally picking up with teeth and then placing it down. That's interesting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> now we're back from our intermission. <laughs> we started off with an intermission. Yes. Uh, but yes, so a 55-year-old business owner and her husband got, what's the dog's name, Anya? Anya? A-N-Y-A. 
Let's Google Translate this. Okay. BRB, y'all. We just gotta Google Translate. Let's hopefully it's better than the French translations that. Anya. Anya. Mm. It apparently is mud in Espanol. No, Estonian. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anya. I'm just gonna call it Anya. Let's try it this way. Anya. Oh my gosh, you didn't even have it in English? No, I didn't detect language and it was Hindi. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back. Uh, en français? Anya. Anya. Espanol? Anya. Oh wow, that was very Anya. Cool. Okay. Okay, Anya. we're. <laughs> the dog's name is Anya, if you didn't get that. Or mud. <laughs> or mood. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> if uh, any Estonian viewers out there need to pronounce the name. But yes, so this dog was picked up from a local breeder when she was 12 weeks old. And then from the beginning, Anya was incredibly helpful and smart. She would help from removing clothes from the dryer and bringing the TV remote. Wow. Don't you just want Oh, they have vid. Oh, uh, we can't show vid though. We can. What? Fair use, man. Okay. Show vid. Have you read nothing about YouTubes? No, I have not. Oh. We'll oh. turn off the music, though. Okay, look at this puppy. And if we get a copyright strike, we just <gasps> don't get money. Whoa! Me. Do you see that? He just straight up went for a piece and pulled it out like no props. Look at this. Look at this. Whoa! Can Princess do that? No. Princess can barely lick her own butthole without having my help. <laughs> oh, let's check this out. Oh, tic tac toe. Yep. We oh, just eat the treat. That is smart. That is so smart. Look at this. He's gonna win. He's gonna win. Yes. Get on, ya, Anya. <laughs> Eats all the <laughs> treats. <laughs> that is your victory. Enjoy that, pretty girl. Oh, he's playing her plunk. I don't even know what that is. You literally have a marble and straws. You have to pull the straws to make the marble not fall. Okay. But if you do that, it's called kaplunk. And then, yeah. It's good news. Yeah. My wife is over here enjoying it as well. She looks very <gasps> interested. Is oh. this chess? It's a dog no. Dog. no. No, no, it's no, no. playing chess. You insulted my dog. I had to see what this was about. I'm sorry, but prince can princess play chess? Knight to F2. Oh, oh. <gasps> playing cards? Go fish. <laughs> Easy peasy. Oh. Lemon squeezy? How'd I do? Oh. Is it playing with the cat? I thought that it was one? walking the cat for a second. I was like, <laughs> no, no. Wait a minute. They literally saved the best for last. This dog knows how to walk cats. Look at that. His dog is... Humans like, can't even do it. I know, right? We got something over here about a hand prototype. That's all you, buddy. Oh, I, I didn't read this one. Dang it. Oh, okay. So scientists from two universities in Ontario, they uh, reported progress on their effort to release the world's first handheld home test kit designed to screen for something that you ran over and I didn't read it. What I did see is it's game changing. Look at that. Boom. But From how? McMaster and Brock Universities. It's a home screening test for cancer. Nice. That that in itself yes. is game changing. Yes. So it can... Oh, who, that's not... who cares about the science? <laughs> it also uh, reminds me of a story that actually was published not too long ago. Ooh, we forgot to bring that one up. Dying uh, a 14-year-old high school student um, from, I think he's from Sudbury, but he used to actually come to my gym, and he developed uh, a flashlight-looking device that detects cancer live during surgeries, and it's like 60,000 times faster at detecting cancer cells than any other machines out there. So he's working on the patent right now. He's only 14 by the way. So that's pretty incredible. So I just thought I'd bring that out because that's what this story reminds me of. Let's see if I can find it. And uh, the next 
story that um, Travis had pulled up is about what was it, sleep? Teen invention helps detect cancer cells during surgery. Pie drill. It is an innovative device that uses light waves to detect cancer in cells, and its inventor, an Ottawa high school student who reached out to the community to bring the idea to life and to prove that it works. Here's CTV's Tyler Fleming. That I couldn't imagine a world without a device like this. It looks like a flashlight, but this device could one day have a big impact on medical science. Light AR is essentially the first ever cancer detection probe. Its architect, 14-year-old Aryan Harshev, who has a personal connection. Cancer is a disease that's ran in my family. My grandfather died of cancer. A lot of other relatives died of cancer. 99.5% He says it's accurate. relatively simple. Using principles of spectroscopy, analyzing the changes in light reflected off an object. You can essentially reverse engineer the composition of that original object down to the molecular or cellular level. In this case, cancer cells. The probe could be much faster than current methods. And I knew I needed the help of somebody who had more experience and more insight. To help push the idea forward, Arian turned to the Makerspace program. Its purpose is to help anyone develop their product. And to have the technicians be so passionate about an idea and have the belief in an idea and I could turn out and want to help, that they would open the doors and give their free time on the weekend. The Makers... Stop there before copyright strike. <laughs> but yeah, so... Uh, Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that is. And I also have a personal connection with him because I do remember him coming into our gym. This one's all you, buddy. You're really like, very passionate about this one, so I'm going. Oh, I, I I raged at about <laughs> where was it in here? Literally, like the first paragraph. Oh yeah, right there. <laughs> Maybe get some t context about what the article is about first before you rage. Again. <laughs> I think I can contain myself. Okay. <laughs> She's basically talking about how sleep can help with reduction of heart failure and heart disease in general. Yes. But, like, it, it, it so eloquently pointed out, having no frequent insomnia, snoring, or excessive daytime sleepiness will help reduce your risk for heart failure. And I'm like, everything that's out of your control. <laughs> but what can help you with sleep? Is that exercise? Healthy exactly. Foods. Boom! Nailed it first try. <laughs> exercise, healthy foods, healthy diet. That can also help with your sleep habits and lower the risk of heart disease, by the way. Boom. Basically, being healthy Transition. helps <laughs> reduce the <laughs> risk of heart disease. <laughs> I think that's how it works. Travis. We had a, a lovely in-depth conversation about foods and particularly about healthy fats versus bad fats, but you also blew my mind whole with the fact that trans fats and saturated fats need to be combined together to be healthy even though you're taught from a very young age that trans fats and saturated fats should always be avoided. It's mainly the source of those fats. Yeah. So, like, obviously, if you're eating a lot of deep-fried food, pizza, burgers, great picture here of everything oh. I love to eat. Like, it looks let delicious. me just zoom in on that. Yeah. So, uh, All these lovely fried it. foods. Oh, I'm salivating. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Basically, you need to consume fat in balance. Yes. Eating too much of bad fats from bad sources yeah. will obviously increase your risk of heart disease. Yeah. But like consuming these diabetes. fats from other foods such as, you know, avocado, fish. Yeah. I think that's flaxseed. Probably almonds that are in there somewhere. Eggs. Yeah, exactly. Some of these good sources of these fats. Yes. Or fats in general are actually really good for you. Yes. And one of the things that uh, had brought up, been brought up with me last year just had to do with cholesterol. Mm -hmm. Like your LDL and HDL, they got to be in balance. Mm -hmm. 
So don't be afraid of food. Yes. Eat what you love. Love what you eat. Just make sure there's a balance of healthy and unhealthy or healthy fats, unhealthy fats, however you want to put it. Make sure there's a balance. You eat well regularly, exercise regularly, and just be a happy person. I oh, think yeah. eating what you want, like those hard diets of like salad or chicken and broccoli for like a month, it's going to put a damper on your mood. It's going to put an emotional Not just that. Stress. It's going to cause you to overcompensate whenever you stop. Oh, exactly. That's the problem with these like, fad honestly, diets. I can eat cheesecake every night. Do Dude. I? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Who's to say? Midnight runs to get cheesecake. Oh, man. Can we have one? <laughs> I didn't pick any out. Uh, I've been having a walking issue lately. That's true. Slash driving as well. <laughs> yeah. That was not fun. <laughs> first day oh i don't think i could hit the gas pedal because <laughs> it was as i stumbled out to head to work yeah oh yeah <laughs> that'll, that'll do it, it. it was pretty bad that'll do it. you may wonder though oh isn't fat bad for you but your body needs some fat from food yeah it's a major source of energy yeah. helps you absorb vitamins and minerals yeah. and fat is needed to build cell membranes Boom. so don't eat any of that fat free stuff yeah how are you going to get some of them cell membranes? Oh, cell yeah. membranes, them sound, they sound very important. They do. And then there's also other stuff, like they're vital for each cell. Mm -hmm. She's surrounding the nerves. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And plus the fat that like goes around the important organs. Basically a lubricant. Yes. So you need fat to survive if you're like... It can reduce inflammation? Yeah, dude. Like you said, it's a, like a natural... Sorry, is that your bad leg? Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I just like tapped him on the leg. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, like you said, it's a natural lubricant for your body, and it's going to make sure that everything's... There we go. Out. There's the bad ones, the industrial ones. Yes. Which are... I was trying to figure... Yeah, hy yeah. hydrogenation. There yes. we go. Boom. There we go. And that's what I was looking for there. It was right above the... Delicious food. I know. Is that slaw on the burger? No, man. That's slaw on a hot dog. I've never had that before. It looks so good, though. Now it we, does. Now we want it. If anybody knows what that is, they got to tell us. I'm pretty sure it's like just... Ah, oh, no, it is. It's not coleslaw. It's, um... Uh... I, I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about, though? Sauerkraut. Yes! I was going to say something German. <laughs> <laughs> the, the German thing would be kraut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I knew it was a German food, maybe. Okay, we got something here about oh, artificial oh. sweeteners. Yes. Notice so, how you said uh, don't eat any of that fat-free stuff. You should probably also not eat sugar-free stuff. If you're going to eat sugar, eat sugar. Eat, yeah, yeah, exactly. Of course, in moderation. But if you're gonna eat sugar, eat sugar. Oh no, I meant like getting a bucket of sugar and just. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, you do you, whatever you need to do. I think I got a sugar packet around here. And those uh, type one diabetics out there, if you need it, then go for it. But you notice how a lot of diabetic people and obese people are drinking diet sodas, like you mentioned before. Yes, I did notice that. Since you I, did. Since you, I brought you it were up. The one who brought it up earlier. Yes. I'm not doing the podcast is off topic. But yeah, for sure, a lot of diabetes, diabetics, and obese people are drinking diet sodas, and you wonder why they're not helping their cause, is because all these sugar-free diet drinks contain aspartame or any other artificial sweet. We got a lot here. Yeah. Basically, so, what I was trying to get at is yes. like, not only. Are a lot of these artificial sweeteners not the best for you? They can cause insulin spikes. Oh, of course. Insulin spikes will remind anybody of diabetes. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it can affect your metabolism in general. So, like, you're like, hey, man, I, I really like this sweet food. I can't quit cold turkey. That's like replacing smoking with vaping. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> hey, I'm totally going to quit smoking. <laughs> Pick up the vape. <laughs> it, it just doesn't work out too well. Like, You're going to end up screwing up your metabolism, causing insulin spikes, doing other stuff to your body, like rumors about cancer surrounding it. We can get into depth on this, but basically it's it's not an alternative. Or a good alternative. Right. It, if you like your sweet foods, switch to like natural sources of those sweet foods. Yes. Like, hey, you don't want to remove sugar from your coffee. Replace it with honey. Yeah. I know some people don't like the taste of honey, but... Oh, yeah. That That's a valid substitute. There are benefits to consuming honey over sugar anyways. Yeah. If you love... Instead of eating... Sugary food, uh, sugary cereals, like Fruit Loops or some of that, <laughs> bowl of fruit. Cheerio. Uh, cheerio. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, instead of eating candy, grab an apple, eat thing. some berries. Like, watermelon is such a good source for natural sweetener or natural sugar. It's like nothing but like water and sugar, and it's so good. Yeah, this article gets into like a lot of that other yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, uh, we can definitely link it if you guys want to check out more. On, oh, I shouldn't on. have been closing these. That's okay. We'll just save My bad. <laughs> we also had something to do with food labels. Yes. I'm hoping you researched this more than I did. Um, yeah, <laughs> more or less. Uh, basically, what I want everyone to understand is the gists of reading a food label. Um, if you see... Yeah, so here's a perfect example. Calories... Okay, so an average adult male needs what between two to four thousand calories a day. Yeah, uh, fifteen hundred on the yeah, low end. If they're super um, uh, athletic, maybe in the military, and you need all that food, between two and four, we'll put it safely. If you can burn it off, calories are legit fuel. Yeah. People you get them who, from fats instead of sugars. Yes. Boom. Uh, people who count calories and only intake five to a thousand calories, you're not getting the enough ingredients your body needs to work sufficiently throughout the day. Because you can burn off three thousand calories easy in a day just doing regular maintenance on your body, regular day work ethics. If you're eating less than that, you're going into a calorie deficit, which means you're going to burn a lot of weight. That happened to me by accident once. Really quickly. And you're just going to do it the unhealthy way. There is a healthy way of losing weight, losing fat, and that's a completely different, uh, different topic. But stop ca- counting your calories Eat what you feel is a, necess- a necessary uh, balanced food group for yourself. Ingest it, eat it, feel good, feel healthy. If you're basing your life off of 100 calories here, 100 calories there, you're not going to go anywhere. And like the same with sugar. Like if you see anything with zero sugar, avoid it as much as you can because it has all this bad artificial... Oh, oh! He just pulled up a study. <laughs> He's very interested in it. But yeah, like same with fats, like trans fats, saturated fats. Like in moderation, everything can be used for your body to fuel yourself through the day. What you want to try to avoid is any ingredient you can't pronounce. Pretty much, if you don't know what it is, it probably shouldn't be going in your body. So we want to try to look for anything that's on a food label that you know what it is, you know exactly what it does for your body, and the proper food source, where it comes from. Those are important as well to know what your feel is and how to burn it properly. Cause Definitely going to have to research that a little bit more. <laughs> I think I saw a study where like an average male burns 276 calories during sex. Is that what you were reading? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As just a quick glance. Uh, yeah. So carbs, 
good for you. Protein, good for you. Fiber, good for you. Vitamins, all of them are good for you. Uh, people who are doing this no carb thing to try to burn fat, carbs are fuel, carbs are energy, uh, cholesterol, like you're saying, depending on the HDL. Fun LDL. fact, cholesterol's very important for production of testosterone. Well, there you go. Low cholesterol means low testosterone means... <laughs> You're not burning 276 calories. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, so we just wanted to drill it in your brain that a healthy food label is what you should be looking out for and knowing that in moderation everything can be used to fuel your body and some of it you'll burn off, some of it you'll pee out. Your body works in a magnificent way to make sure that everything that is bad for you comes out of you in a healthy way. Ah! What is this pumpkin spice stuff? I want that to disappear. I forgot to filter earlier. Okay. Do you have any other... Well, that's what we're doing on this page. I'm just <laughs> He's trying looking to... up other stuff. Ooh, recipes. Okay, that's all there. Hmm? Hey, yeah, we can delete that. Avocado! Avocados are good for you, man. That's exactly what we're doing here. <laughs> there we go. Cleaned up that page a bit. Yeah, so I couldn't find the site that I used to use for looking all this stuff up, but uh, I used a site similar to this for many years, and it basically gives you a breakdown of the nutritional values of a lot of things, kind of like super label. Mm -hmm. So, like, we got avocado here. We have it down to one cup. Uh, can we go one avocado? There, there we, we go. go. So what one avocado has in it? So we're looking at carbs, fats, obviously avocado yeah. is mostly fat. Glycemic load, so like that's the impact it has on your system. Completeness score, that's just basically like what's all in it. Yeah. Same thing with the protein quality or amino acids. Um, protein, 8% of your DV. Just remember, DVs are usually on a high end, not a low end. Okay. So, like, whenever you have, like, your daily value, that's, like, I forget what study it was. They broke it down with salt, and they're, like, 100% of your DV of salt ended up being, like, three times the amount of salt you should have been consuming. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's just insane. Mm. But I believe it was based on a 2,000 calorie diet. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, here we go. Here's some fats. Yeah, look at all that fat. What is good, healthy fats? Fats good for you. Omega-3 fatty acid. Omega-6. Oh, yeah, acid. one of the uh, major things about your... Three, six, and even nine fatty acids. Uh, it's all about the ratio of those fats. So if you have an insane amount of omega-3 but not enough omega-6 to offset it, you're not going to fully digest it. And that's pretty much with any type of nutrients. Um, it's all about the balance. Like a lot of people, their calcium and magnesium are out of balance, which gives them sleep and anxiety issues. Okay. Uh, so just bringing up one of them, you need a blood test, obviously, in order to figure it out, could actually solve insomnia. Yeah, we don't really care about that. Which will then give you better sleep, which will then give you... Better hearts. Heart. There we go. Full circle. <laughs> but yeah, so minerals, mm. most of them are fat-soluble. Yeah. So you need fat to... in order to absorb this. Yeah. Same thing with a lot of these vitamins. Uh, for the most part, mo these vitamins tend to be water soluble, mm -hmm. which means even if you are consuming too much, like let's say vitamin K, I hope that's not one of the ones that isn't. But uh, <laughs> let, let's just go with C and be safe. There you go. <laughs> Drinking a lot more water will offset that. Yeah. So it'll allow your kidneys to properly process it. Fibers. Yeah, your fibers. Yes. A oh, lot really? of bodybuilders Holy do not consume enough dang fiber no it's true 
Uh, you need fiber in, able, in order to basically digest anything. Yes. That so, is what makes it. And that's what gives them their stinky farts. Oh, from man. Consuming too much protein. I'm, uh... You need your uh, fiber and your fats in order to digest protein properly. Yes. So everyone out there who's on, like, the chicken and broccoli diets, man, your fart stank. Mm. Stop it. Broccoli does. Uh, how much uh, fiber does broccoli have? Oh, that's right. Broccoli might have a lot. To my knowledge, anyway. Broccoli. Not typing. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I think there's two LCs. I don't know. Sure. He'll know what you're trying to say. What? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wrong search. Answer. Apparently that was an ad. <laughs> Enter your food name. There you go. Broccoli. Broccoli raw. Where is that? Down. Down here somewhere. Right there. Ah, uh, ads are back. <laughs> How much fiber? Oh, not that much. It's not a lot. No. Um, How much broccoli did we pull up here? One, One cup? cup chopped. That okay. shouldn't be a... What if you eat an entire head? It's like a big ass. Most of you wanted to eat head. <laughs> you wanted a bunch. A bunch, yes, yes. I don't want out there eating. <laughs> still not, like, still not that uh, much. So that's probably where that gas is coming from. Yeah. Lean meat with like no fiber, but that gives you. So you have to eat an entire head. A bunch. <laughs> you just so need to get... swallow that entire head in order to get, <laughs> get that vitamin and fiber. Holy jeez! Let's go back to one cup here. Oh, okay. That's insane. That Look insane. at that. That's an odd amount of protein. Yeah. Actually. Twenty percent. All like broccoli is like mainly carbs, by the way. So any of you who are like. Oh, I don't eat carbs. You eat broccoli? You're lying to yourself. <laughs> You're eating a lot of carbs. <laughs> I only eat broccoli and chicken and no carbs. And I eat 71% of my TV <laughs> of carbs in one cup. <laughs> and like no protein. Because actually chicken breast, if I'm not mistaken, is not actually that high in protein. No? No, you're better off eating a steak. Ah, oh, the steak is good though. Chicken uh, breast. Uh, what do we want? Chicken breast tenders. Tenders. Let's go. I just want chicken breast. Just one chicken booby. KFC extra chip. Oh no, that's going to give you the wrong type of ingredients that we need. <laughs> Meat only raw. Sure. Ninety percent protein, ten percent fats, zero percent carbs. Uh, but how much is actually protein? Sixteen point four grams. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's compare that to a steak. Yes. We're doing the research so you guys don't have to. Well, no, it's actually easier if you have it in front of you. Mm-hmm. We can also link this in the description too, so you. Can and just remember that was raw; that hadn't been cooked yet. Yeah, for sure. So obviously, if you cook it, it's going to be less because you're burning away some of the nutrition. Nutrition. Oh, sixty-six percent. You're looking at twenty-five. There. We yeah. Go. And this one's cooked, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Cooked. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So yeah. we even. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Just a cool, fun little tool. Yeah, so we'll definitely link it. And if you guys have any questions, let us know in the comments below. Uh, if you guys have any other ideas, feel free to share with us. Whoops. 
So back from our intermission, <laughs> uh, Travis was looking for a uh, a dad joke, and I don't know if he closed out the tabs that we we're supposed to link. Uh, I closed out all the tabs. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll find them later. <laughs> That's what I was like. He's assuming a lot. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you guys uh, have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. I don't know if we got to that part or not. And uh, yeah, so Travis, go ahead with your dad joke. Yesterday, at eight o'clock. It was very time consuming, especially when it went. I went back for seconds. <laughs> uh, yes, that was good. I don't know we got any other funny ones that are just right here. I wonder if I can pull up in real quick. I got another one. Did you? Did you hear about the restaurant on the moon? Great food, no atmosphere. Ha! Pretty sure you, uh... I've, I've already. said that one before, you yeah. Have, yeah. Open image in new tab. My dog used to chase people on a bike. It got so bad, I had to take his bike away. 